gentlemen, I think I've come up with a fun way to get young people interested in science. Physics Mad Libs. <laughs> now, give me a number. Five. Uh-huh. And an irrational constant. E. And a funny Greek letter. Gamma. I said funny. <laughs> Upsilon? Good one. <laughs> and an electrical charge. Positive. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> okay, get this. <clears throat> Professor Jones told the symposium he had a new method for calculating the mass of a muon. Five times the limit of <laughs> e to the upsilon as in a <laughs> Okay, no, no, no. I'll start over. Professor Jones. <laughs> I haven't seen him laugh that hard since the day Leonard made that multiplication error. Oh, oh Lord, that multiplication error. He carried the one, but he didn't. <laughs> it's not funny. That mistake got published. Stop! I'm gonna wet myself. Hey, guys, guys, President Siebert is headed this way. I wonder what he wants. He doesn't look happy, so I'm guessing he wants to talk to Sheldon. Dr. Cooper. Told you. Oh, President Siebert, I assume you'd like to respond to one of the suggestions I put in the box by your office? No. And stop installing suggestion boxes everywhere. <laughs> You don't like written suggestions. You don't like when I give them to you while we're urinating in the men's room. If I didn't know any better, I'd say that you're one of those stubborn people who are not open to suggestions. Dr. Cooper, the physics department chair tells me you're refusing to take your vacation. I don't need a vacation. No, you're obligated to take one. And I'd also like you to know the most often received suggestion in my suggestion box you installed without asking me is, can Dr. Cooper take a vacation? <laughs> okay, it's settled then. I'll see you all on Monday, except for you. But if I don't come into work, what am I supposed to do with myself? Read, rest, travel. I hear Afghanistan is nice this time of year. Sarcasm? No, you should go. 